just three hours ago, we got our first look at what could happen this upcoming hurricane season with the release of the 2024 season forecast. This from Colorado State University. Meteorologist Kim Castro joining us to break down what we've learned this morning. First, let me start by prefacing. This is a forecast built on the scientific study of conditions expected in the Atlantic Basin in the coming months. These factors include weather patterns like La Nina, which affects wind shear coupled with sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic waters. Now, let's break down the numbers from CSU's forecast. This year, they're forecasting an above average hurricane season with 23 storms, 11 of those reaching hurricane status. And of those 11, they're forecasting five storms to become major hurricanes hurricanes, meaning they have a category three or higher with winds over 110 miles per hour. That's compared to a 30 year average of about 14 storms a season, seven hurricanes and of those three becoming major. Last week, KHU 11's chief meteorologist David Paul met with Dr. Klotbach, the lead researcher there at Colorado State University to talk about the factors that will play into this year's season. One of the big factors is El Nino, which is warmer than normal water in the central and eastern tropical Pacific, which we had last year is very likely to be gone. It's already weakening quite quickly and likely to be transitioning potentially over to La Nina. In La Nina years, those upper level westerly winds are significantly reduced. So we have less overall of that vertical wind shear. And that combined with right now, we saw a record warm tropical Atlantic water temperatures. That provides more fuel for hurricanes, also tends to make the atmosphere more unstable, helping to basically form these systems coming off of Africa. Overall, that combination of La Nina and a very warm Atlantic typically leads to very active hurricane seasons. Now, what this forecast cannot predict is where the storms will form and where they'll go. But no matter the numbers, remember, it only takes one storm to make an impact in our area. So the time to prepare for hurricane season is now in the months before. I'm meteorologist Kim Castro. Back to you.